What's up guys, Technumber here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Friends Reloaded. Friends Reloaded adds a simple GUI for adding and managing friends on a server to make playing together easier. Create parties, PM and even teleport to each other. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for Friends. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. Once the plugin is installed, you'll notice a new item in your hotbar in game. When you select the head and right click, your friend's GUI will open. We can also open this menu with slash friends. Before we get too far into this plugin, there are a ton of commands that we can run instead of using the GUI. So to keep this video simple, each time I go over a button or option, if there is a command alternative, I'll show it on the screen. To check commands at any time, we can run slash friends help and slash party help. In here, we have a custom item sample that when clicked will run a command. We'll get to this later. I have an alt account on the server, so I'll use that as a test subject for all of the commands. I'll quickly tab out to the other Minecraft and run the slash friends add command to add my main as a friend. On my main, we see an option in chat that we can click to accept or deny them, but I'll do this from the GUI instead. At the bottom of the GUI, we have requests, where we can accept or deny them individually. At the bottom, we can accept or deny all of our friend requests, or we can click on them to accept or deny them individually. I'll select the friend request I have from my alt account and accept it. If there was a message added to the command in chat, it'll be visible between the accept and deny buttons when hovering over this item. If we have any players blocked, we can view them and unblock them in our blocked players menu. We also have options to toggle what the plugin can do for us. So we can disable party invites, private messages, teleporting requests for friends to teleport to us, and friend requests entirely. We can also set ourselves to show as invisible to all of our friends on their friends lists. And we can change our status, but we'll see this later. For now, I'll set it to something like test status. Then we have the ability to change how our friends list is sorted, as well as a next and previous page button for long friends lists. Then we have a party menu where we can create a party. We can also get here with slash party. Upon starting party creation, we can set a few things. We can make our party private or public, letting people join only through invites or just by request. Then clicking on a player, we can promote or demote them, allowing them to use different commands in the party, as well as kick them if we need. And of course, we have the option to leave our party. We can invite a player by finding them on our friends list and by clicking invite. Tabbing into the other Minecraft, we can accept or deny it by clicking in chat or by running the command. Assuming the party group is public, we can join it with slash party join followed by the party leader's name. Opening the party GUI using the slash party command or clicking on the party button in the GUI, we can see a list of members and manage them if we have powers. We can also use at party before a message in chat to send it to just our party members, though this isn't mentioned on the plugins page. Using at friends before a message sends a broadcast message to all of your friends in the chat as well. Clicking on a friend in our friends list, we can give our friends a nickname. We can also jump or teleport to our friends, and we can toggle if they can send us private messages or not. We can favorite them, and we can also invite them to our party if we're in one. We can add or remove them as a friend as well from this menu. Lastly, we have a few more commands. Slash friends at list shows the list of all your friends in the chat. We can send private messages to our friends using slash friends, message, followed by a name and a message. And finally, we can check the plugin's version with slash friends version. And we can reload the plugin's config at any time with slash friends reload. Locate the config in the plugin folder. There are quite a few files in here as well as a folder. There are many options in the configs as well. There are no comments in these files, but the options are named very well, meaning we can understand most of what's going on just by looking at the configs. Party.yml contains all the settings for the party section of the plugin. In here, we can adjust how the GUI looks, with what items represent what setting or option, as well as change the text that is shown, item names, and more for the GUI. 
We can even enable or disable party chat for players using at party before a message. MySQL.yml contains settings for the plugin if you choose to use a MySQL database instead of just storing everything in the files automatically. For most servers, you'll leave this file as is. Messages.yml contains all of the chat messages for the plugin, so you can easily translate what the plugin says or just make it appear different for your server. Forbidden phrases.txt will have to be blurred out for this tutorial when I pull it up, but basically it contains a list of words that the server will block from being used in things like nicknames. This, however, won't censor chat. The usual folder contains cached and saved data for the plugin to work and should be ignored. Config.yml contains all of the settings for the plugin that aren't separated into their own files already. Without covering everything that the plugin lets you customize, we can change friends list length limits, change the date and time format, and more. Skipping to line 120, we have our custom items. In here, we can create custom items to show on our friends list GUI right at the beginning. That, when clicked, will run a command. The example one here makes you say a phrase in chat when the item is clicked. We can also customize how each option in the menu is represented. We can change the block, name, lore, and position. There's tons of customization that you can do with this plugin. Keeping this tutorial as short as possible, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!